What's up, back here? This your boy, Steve Barney, and we're back with more Honkai Sailor. So, in the last episode, we finally said goodbye to the Shang Fu, Shang Fu, I think so, the Lawful. And now we're heading to Planet Colony. I did some little exploring, but now let's get back on track and see what happens next. So, gather around and let's have some fun. How's it going? All packed and ready? There probably won't be any surprises happening on family territory, which is a bit of a shame if you ask me. But hey, it's rare that we can take a break and let loose. Let's enjoy it. Of course not. Adventures are exhilarating, but rest and recuperation is equally important. Rest and recuperation aside, don't forget Pom Pom's request. <laughs> the conductor has done plenty for us, and it's time to return that favor. It's about time, and I should find a seat. Let's get ready and see what happens next. between reality and the memory zone, a dreamscape. Right this moment, you and I have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape and appeared in each other's minds. This is the Land of Dreams inaugural welcome for us. Worry not, for very quickly you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. Pay no mind. For this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. It is an occurrence that we have become accustomed to for so long. So, come with me. I'll take you home. This is definitely interesting. I was not expecting any of this. Left, to the end of the corridor. I will wait there for you. Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. Open this door. Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Oh, you can still see. This is... This way. After you. Am I supposed to... Walk up the wall? How is this even possible? Why not? She can hear the thoughts in my head? We're almost there. Can you still walk? <laughs> you're funny. If you can crack jokes, you're probably fine. Don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. Or up, for that matter. These 
voices. They are just shadows of the dreamscape. Pay no heed to them. The Charmony Festival stage belongs only to you, little sister. But if I can't sing, what meaning does a stage have? Ah, the charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear Gamper. <sighs> Beach chips are enough. Forget this fortuitous encounter and return whence you came. But before you do, I would make a request of you. You may think it somewhat strange, perhaps even rude, but I wish to know. Have we met somewhere before? That's so interesting. I've never seen the text turn red. I don't know what to say. You evoke memories of an old friend. In the haze of my recollections, he crossed blades with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close yet forever out of reach. May I ask you a few more questions? I tend to forget things, which is why rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. The answer is inconsequential. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? Family? Enemies? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. There, no one faces life's separations or deaths. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. I would ask, would you wish to stay? Imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember, the joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging, all will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped 
the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? I know this is hard. You don't have to be hard-pressed to make a decision. As I have said, the answer is inconsequential. Hearing, touch, thought. Through these, you gain emotions. Cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. And so we return to the original question. I would ask, do you still remember me? And it felt like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave entirely different responses. That was my final question. Thank you. We all have our paths to walk, so we shall bid our farewells. The golden dream is getting restless. In the coming long night, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. And finally, your sight will only see black and white. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. What you must do now is ponder its significance. And then you can return to the waking world. That's where we all find our answers. make a little bit but it was definitely interesting
reverie. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. I'm Misha, a bellboy working here on Penacony. Pleased to be at your service. If you need help with your baggage... Uh, over here. Something's not right. Should you need assistance with moving luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. Uh, please, go ahead. Don't keep your friend waiting. I received from the Astral Express, it states that we already reserved rooms. Please check again for me. Yes, ma'am. Please give me a moment. The Astral Express, four platinum guest rooms, whose names include Mr. Welt Yang, Miss Himiko, Miss March 7th, and Mr. Don Hung. These are the only four names on the reservation list. into some trouble. Your name isn't on the hotel's reservation list. I... I understand. No wonder our friend's name here is missing. When we responded to the family's invitation, he hadn't even arrived on the express. Uh, something came up in Don Hung's schedule and he couldn't make it. I have an idea. Uh, could you reassign his room? It's still the same number of people. He's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. We can vouch for his status. I... even if that is so, I'm afraid... No, I'm not doubting your status. It's just... Well, it's just that right now, we're on the eve of the Charmony Festival. Pentagony's most important moment of every era. And with the family's invite, all guests from all over the cosmos have thronged this place. Our hotel security is on high alert with zero room for error. And with such a last minute change, it really isn't something that this young lady's words can resolve on a whim. My esteemed guests from the Astral Express, please do not make it harder for her. We are sorry for all the trouble our check-in seems to have caused. Might I ask for your name? I am the humble adventuring of the IPC Strategic Investment Department, a non-performing asset liquidation specialist and subordinate to Supervisor Dunn. I was cordially invited by the watchmaker. Hmm. <laughs> I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for quite a while. Leave it to me. <sighs> I've heard that the IPC has also received Penacone's invitation. So forgive me if I'm mistaken, but you must be the representative. The IPC's elite certainly does have an extraordinary air about them. I suppose such an exceptional figure such as yourself wouldn't mind paving a convenience for us? I, I must be hearing things. Paving a convenience? Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? I've been waiting here for more than 10 minutes. Do you know how many credits 10 minutes is worth to me? It must be an inordinate number. Which is why now, Mr. Aventurine, I have an investment that you absolutely cannot miss out on. The IPC's influence runs deep and wide, and their word wields the utmost authority. We hope to borrow your status to vouch for him. As such, you won't just be sparing much of your invaluable time, but also forging new friendships. <laughs> well, this is interesting. And how will my new friends benefit me? Now this is a topic very much worth getting into. Just as we are guests of the Watchmaker, why don't we make ourselves comfortable in Pentaconi before getting to know each other more elaborately? <laughs> Sounds good. But, Miss Navigator, I must point out that if I do something about it now, 
The time saved is from my own effort, not a favor from you all. <sighs> but what you said in the second half, I loved it. Friends, yes, nothing is more precious than friends. Especially a righteous trailblazer like a nameless. Going forward on this panicky trip, I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. Looking forward to a delightful time with you all. I'm glad you've put it this way. So about the vouching... And there you go, miss. Please allow him to check in on my account. I have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sunday. I will ask him to handle this matter later. Don't worry, I won't cause you any trouble. Um, but... Ali. Just a moment. The family cannot allow guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Oh, speak of the devil, look who's here. It's Sunday, the most handsome man in Pennsylvania. Along with a singer renowned across the universe, Robin. He said you were the most dashing person in Pentecomi. How interesting. Kept you waiting, Mr. Aventurine. This way, please. Let us speak in private. Astral Express, Miss Death. Please come this way and rest your feet. Wait, what? Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry, but are you the the singer at Salon Superstar? If I can stop one heart from breaking, that's your song, isn't it? I never thought a like yourself would be a fan of mine. Oh, it really is, Robin. To run into her in person here. It is an honor to meet everyone. Are you also a member of the family on Penacone like him? <laughs> Truth be told, I am a guest like everyone. Penacone is my hometown, but I left when I was older. I was graciously invited this time to return and sing a song at the Germany Festival. The person you speak of is Sunday, my senior, and one of the local leaders at Penacone. He is also the organizer of this era's Germany Festival. He heard you all ran into some difficulties and sent me here to provide aid. Alas, I arrived a little later than usual. I sincerely apologize for any unpleasantness during your stay. <sighs> Please, be at ease. I have instructed Miss Allie to resolve the system error as soon as possible. I have also upgraded your rooms as token compensation. Please wait a moment for the hotel to arrange for suitable accommodation. Mr. Aventurine has an appointment with the Oak family and has checked in prior. On his behalf, I extend his apologies to everyone of the Astral Express and wish for an amicable partnership moving forward. Thank you for stepping in to resolve this matter. But are you sure about the rooms? I wouldn't want your other guests to feel we were being given preferential treatment. Please, rest assured that the family will personally undertake communications to handle this. It is only right that we, as the actual administrators, relieve you of any problems during your visit in Panacone. I apologize for taking up everyone's precious time, and we shan't keep you any longer. If you need anything else while in Panacone, the family stands ready to serve. May our dreams be beautiful and pleasant. Oh, it's just one surprise after another! There's also the saying, from misfortune comes bliss. Okay, there's no queue in the lobby now. Let's go find Miss Allie. <sighs> Esteemed guests of the Astral Express, your check-in procedure is complete. 
Please forgive us for any previous inconvenience caused. This is your Dreamscape Pass. It serves as your hotel room key, as well as a directory of all the amenities and information you require at the Reverie. It even provides smart assistance. At the same time, it is also Penacone's special, one-of-a-kind souvenir that belongs only to you. You can use the Dreamscape Pass's provided clock-in feature to record every moment of your wonderful dream. Save your favorite happy bits and create a Dreamscape scrapbook that is uniquely yours. Regarding the method of usage, the Dreamscape Pass will guide you through the process. I wish you all pleasant dreams in Penacone. You may take the elevator over there to reach your guest rooms. All right, let's move out. this hotel too big for its own good. Soul Glad is very famous. Go on. We may be thinking of the same thing. Do you remember the invite that the Express received? Uh, the family's esteemed guests are cordially invited to Benaconi to participate in our grand celebration. That's why we're here in the first place. You recall correctly, but... There was more to this invite. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacone, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> I don't remember that part of the invite. You mean there was a, a hidden message? This is the part that intrigues me. The invite sent by the family was nothing more than a music box that, when wound, would play an accompanying tune. But the box that was sent to us was slightly... unusual. The music it played had off-key notes in the background. I recorded these dissonant notes, and they were a perfect match with the gravity wave frequency when the Express made its warp jump. Also, the Express engine's spatial curvature was its encryption key. A distress call method regularly used by the nameless. I can't be certain. It may be a masked fool's trap. From the execution itself, the Riddlers, or Inquisition spirits, could have done this themselves. When did you discover this? When we were handling that Law Fu Stellaron matter. I told Pom Pom about it first thing. It's no wonder that IPC Ambassador also mentioned this watchmaker. The invite he received must also have contained a hidden message, and it seems like he decoded it. There's something else on my mind. When the invite was brought up, 
that family leader mentioned being one of the actual administrators of Panacone, and that it was their duty to relieve us of any problems. In hindsight, there was more to that statement. He also had Miss Robin with him. I'm no singer, but her voice sounded a little strange. Would a singer really take to the stage if their voice wasn't in top shape? Are you saying you suspect that the family did not send the invite and is hiding something from us? It's possible. The fact that the family sent out invites to the other factions is already unusual, and your discovery confirms that there could be a third party involved. I take back what I said. This event is becoming more interesting with each passing second. Why didn't you tell the others? We shouldn't interfere if this is just an internal affair of Penicone or the family. But you said so yourself. This could concern the Trailblaze. Well, I did. Which is why, before we set off, I told March 7th and Don Hung about this. <laughs> so I was the only one kept in the dark then. conductor's request. We'll collect intel while enjoying this wonderful vacation. Penacone is, after all, a famed resort of the cosmos. Not many get a chance to even visit in their lifetime. Head back to your rooms, get some rest, and prepare to enter the dreamscape. It's time to head back to my room. Before entering the dream, I should probably talk to the rest. a little uh, <laughs> loud for my taste. So this is how astral high society does things, huh? <laughs> they say he's a historically important figure in Panacone, and tales of his life have been handed down over generations. Such tales encourage believers to come to the planet of festivities to pursue their dreams. He's an interesting fellow, that's for sure, and his legacy still has the power to draw people in. But how and why he's involved with that invite, and why his name popped up in the encrypted message allegedly sent by a nameless, I've got no leads for now. The family believes in the harmony, and their altruism is well known across the stars a trait that is intimately tied to Panacone's stability and prosperity. But some factions have always been wary of the family, uh, suspecting that their benevolence and eloquence belie an ulterior motive. So far, it seems to me that the family treats their guests with courtesy, so I don't think we need to worry about that for now. The Dream Panacone is divided into 12 moments, Personally, I'm interested in the moment of soul. It's a visual dreamscape steeped in Panacone's history and civilization. Panacone's Grand Museum, the Primal Waking Library, the Paperfold Academy. The pasts that we chase may be stored in these places. Past the guest room's dream pool is the real Panacone. Let's get ready to move out. Pleasant dreams. What's wrong? Not turning in? Can't find your room? Or do you have something on your mind? One can't discuss the planet of festivities without mentioning the watchmaker. Penacone's household name and figure. Fortune, fame, status. He built everyone's futures with his bare hands. 
and became the symbol of dreams. But the veracity of these stories remains untraceable. Many have their own opinions on the watchmaker's origin and past, and there are even some who suspect he's a conceptual construct of the family. For now, I do not think this invite is linked to the watchmaker. His legacy... It sounds more like a marketing hook to drum up more traffic, if nothing else. Uh, an IPC ambassador who knows more than he lets on. A silver-tongued businessman. A flamboyant and debonair aristocrat. He could be all of them. My instincts tell me he's much more than meets the eye. Before the dust settles, we should maintain amicable relations with all camps while keeping our guards up. The Dream Pentacony is divided into 12 individual dreamscapes. I've heard that the destinations vary for different people when they first enter the dream. As for me, I look forward to the moment of scorch sand. Its wild winds, taverns, and festive choices have more of a nameless trailblaze vibe. The moment of morning dew is also a decent choice that chance to visit the family. Ugh, you must be exhausted from everything that's happened so far. Even if you're trailblazing, you mustn't forget to relax. Good night, and sweet dreams. Where's March 7th? Has she returned to her room already? Huh? 
Mysteries are already piling up, and we saw so many new faces. So, what's gonna happen next? Actually, you have to stay, you're gonna have to stay tuned until next time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. I appreciate the support. Comment down below your favorite character and if you're still playing the game. And again, thank you for watching. Until next time, peace.